Alright, today we're going to learn about if functions and if statements in Microsoft Excel. Now the if function and if statement is the same thing, and an if statement uses a logical test to check whether a condition is met, and then returns a value if true and another if false. And an example of that, say in Microsoft Excel, you go to cell B12 and you input the value 614. Now, it's true because the cell in B12 contains the value 614. If it did not contain that value, however, the statement would be false. Now, let's elaborate on this a little bit more and show you how this is can be put to work in Microsoft Excel. Now, here we got I have a spreadsheet of a grocery list. Now, this is a good use of the if function because you can use it to figure out which groceries you need to buy. Now, first in Microsoft Excel, this is Microsoft Excel 2010, so it might be a little bit different on an earlier version, but there's tabs at the top, and you go to the formulas tab, which contains all the different functions and other things you can use. Um, and then the function library you go to the logical section and the if statement is the third one down and make sure you have the cell selected that you wish the if statement to be in now the logical test is the condition in which has to be met in order to determine if the value is true or false so the condition we have to meet is first of all if you want to select the cell that has to meet this condition in our case, it's B6. It has to be less than or equal to uh, 1. And that will decide if we have to buy it. And if it's less than or equal to 1, we must buy because we are low on it. And if it is not, then don't buy. Now, in these in these areas, you can write words as the values as long but uh also numbers are acceptable equation different equations are acceptable it's just how whatever fits the purpose you need so once all the information's entered click okay now it only input the if statement for this for this cell but to change that, click on the bottom right hand corner of the cell that's highlighted and you click it and you drag it to where you want it, the if function to cover and there it is. There is all the different values and we figure out from the if function that we don't need to buy steaks or ketchup but milk and bread we need to buy. Now that is the first way of doing it. Another way of doing it is without using the formulas tab or clicking anything up there, you can just hit the equal sign and type the word if without any spaces followed by an open parentheses. And here you can see that it's showing you what you need to type and the only way you need to separate it is by commas. So we start off our logical test. It starts with the cell we want to change. So B6 less than or equal to 1, comma. And then we put the value if it's true. Now in this case you have to input the quotations otherwise it won't think it's correct. So by quotations, comma. And then Another quotations don't buy and make sure you close the parentheses and now it sees it as a function enter does the same thing now since it only did it for this cell once again you click and you drag it down and now same thing same results thank you and that is how you make an if statement in Microsoft Excel